Is it time to buy or sell Apple stock? In this video, we will delve into a comprehensive analysis of Apple. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, the 21st of August, 2024. And now, we are here to offer you an even more in-depth examination. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay informed about our latest analyses. You won't want to miss any vital updates that could affect your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Harness the capabilities of AI and access free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any one of 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video serves informational purposes only and should not be regarded as financial advice. Since the 15th of August, 2024, our system has designated Apple as a buy candidate, assigning it a score of 3.68. Now let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. The stock has experienced a gain of three quarters of a percent. This equates to an average return of one tenth of a percent per day since it was classified as a buy candidate. The stock is currently positioned within a broad and robust upward trend in the short term, indicating a likelihood of further increases within this trend. The existing three-month trend points to a potential change of approximately 14.65% over the next three months, with possible returns ranging from 7.79% to 25.64%. Regarding the 12-month trend, it suggests a change of about 18.23% over the coming year, with potential returns varying from negative 7.33% to 24.61%. This implies a price range of approximately $209.80 to $282.13 after one year. Our latest daily update for Apple includes the headline, a downturn for Apple stock on Wednesday after a decrease of approximately five hundredths of a percent. The Apple stock price experienced a decline of approximately five hundredths of a percent on the last day, which was Wednesday, the 21st of August, 2024. The price dropped from $226.51 to $226.40. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated by 1.24%, reaching a low of $225.19 and a high of $227.98. The price has increased in eight of the last 10 days and has risen by nearly 8% over the past two weeks. Additionally, trading volume rose by 3 million shares on the last day, despite the falling prices. This could signify an early warning, indicating a slight increase in risk over the following days. In total, 33 million shares were exchanged, amounting to approximately $7,530,000,000. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock reached $237.23, while the lowest was $164.08. Currently, the price stands 4.57%, or $10.83, below the 52-week high of $237.23, which also marks the all-time high for the stock. Apple is making strategic adjustments as it navigates changing global regulations, highlighted by the upcoming departure of Matt Fisher, the long-serving vice president in charge of the App Store. This significant reorganization could lead to a renewed focus on compliance, impacting operational efficiency and possibly investor confidence in the short term. However, as the company shifts its attention, analysts are optimistic about Apple's ability to leverage its services and artificial intelligence capabilities to offset potential declines in iPhone sales. Additionally, news that the United Kingdom has closed its investigations into Apple's App Store suggests a short-term easing of regulatory pressure, offering a more stable environment for growth. This could lead to a positive share price reaction as investors perceive reduced risks associated with legal challenges. In the longer term, 
If Apple successfully enhances its services division and innovates through artificial intelligence, it could diversify revenue streams, further strengthening its market position. Overall, while the leadership changes may initially unsettle investors, the combination of regulatory reprieve in the United Kingdom and a focus on expanding service offerings could provide a solid foundation for sustainable growth, positively influencing stock performance over time. Analyst Ratings On Monday, the 19th of August, 2024, it was reported that Moffat Nathanson assigned Apple a neutral rating with an initialize action. On Tuesday, the 6th of August, 2024, it was reported that Needham assigned Apple a buy rating with a hold action. On Monday, the 5th of August, 2024, it was reported that CFRA assigned Apple a buy rating with a hold action. On Friday, the 2nd of August, 2024, it was reported that Piper Sandler assigned Apple a neutral rating with a hold action. On Friday, the 2nd of August, 2024, it was reported that KeyBank assigned Apple a sector weight rating with a hold action. Analysts have assigned Apple stock a general neutral rating. They have classified the price to earnings ratio as a strong sell and the price to book ratio as strong sell as well. However, for return on investment, analysts rate the stock as a strong buy. The following signals have been identified for Apple. The Apple stock shows buy signals from both short-term and long-term moving averages, suggesting a positive outlook for the stock. Additionally, there is a general buy signal indicated by the short-term average being above the long-term average. In the event of downward corrections, support is expected at levels of $224.65 and $222.52. A breakdown below either of these levels would trigger sell signals. Furthermore, a buy signal has emerged from the three-month Moving Average Convergence Divergence, or MCD. However, some negative signals have also been detected, which may impact the near-term development of the stock. A sell signal was generated from a pivot top point on Tuesday, July 16, 2024, and thus far, the stock has declined by 3.59%. Further declines are anticipated until a new bottom pivot is established. Volume increased as prices fell yesterday, which may serve as an early warning, necessitating closer observation of the stock. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal, pivots, sell signal from 27 days ago, Bollinger, buy signal from 12 days ago, short-term moving average, buy signal from 10 days ago, long-term moving average, buy signal from 8 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 3 days ago. If we examine the 12-month chart, we observe short moving average, buy signal from 8 days ago, Long-term moving average, buy signal from 77 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 65 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to discover more signals. Support, risk, and stop loss for Apple. On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $213.07 and $207.49. There is an inherent risk when a stock tests a support level, as a breach could lead to a decline to the next support level. In this instance, Apple finds support just below today's level at $213.07. Should this level be broken, the next support from accumulated volume will be at $207.49 and $207.15. This stock is typically traded at a strong volume and with minor daily fluctuations, the risk is deemed low. Over the past day, the stock moved $2.79 or 1.24% between its high and low. In the previous week, the stock has exhibited an average daily volatility of 1.18%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Apple, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. 
This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. This is a relatively normal PE ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. In other news, the next earnings report for the third quarter of 2024 is expected on the 7th of November, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $1.59. Keep an eye on these numbers as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Apple. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Apple is at $227.57. If you do not currently hold any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those who already own the stock, this could serve as a consideration for swing trading. On the downside, Apple faces its first support level at $213.07. If this support level holds firm, it could present a favorable entry point anticipating a potential rebound. The combined average rating for Apple from various analyst sources is neutral. Now let's examine some recent insider trades. On the 15th of August, 2024, Chris Kondo executed an insider sale of 8,706 shares of common stock. On the 9th of August, 2024, Chris Kondo conducted another insider sale of 5,178 shares of common stock. On the 5th of August, 2024, Catherine L. Adams performed an insider sale of 97,600 shares of common stock. On the same day, Catherine L. Adams also conducted an insider sale of 2,400 shares of common stock. On the 7th of August, 2024, Catherine L. Adams executed an insider sale of 4,500 shares of common stock. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we find that the insider power is negative, with a ratio of negative 33.972. In total, insiders purchased 1,401,454 shares and sold 2,716,460 shares in these last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $216.58, which represents a decrease of 4.34%. This stock exhibits low daily fluctuations, contributing to a reduced risk profile. A sell signal has been triggered from a pivot top identified 42 days ago. Is Apple stock a good buy? Several short-term indicators, along with an overall positive trend, suggest that the current level may present a buying opportunity. There is a reasonable likelihood that Apple stock will perform well in the near future. After examining the volatility and movements from the most recent trading day, our analysis indicates that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Thursday, the 22nd of August, we anticipate Apple will open up approximately 12 cents and begin trading at $226.52. We remind you that trading involves a significant risk of losing money. It is advisable to consult with a financial advisor before making any decisions regarding the purchase or sale of securities. You should not rely solely on the information provided by StockInvest.us when making investment choices. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? We invite you to comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.